look at all of this packaging like I'd love to get some berries but of course there's all the packaging this even has polystyrene which is like even worse this morning I woke up and I felt terrible I felt like I was about to throw up Welcome back to Mia's life. Yes guys, I am back from Georgia. I am back in Dubai. So today's video. This sounds like so much fun, but it is going to be difficult. So basically today I'm going to be trying to be going zero waste, completely zero waste. And when I say like zero waste and completely zero waste, I mean literally I am not going to be emitting any waste today for the whole entire day so this is gonna be a difficult challenge and I feel like the thing with zero waste is it's kind of like just about doing your best and although I do do some things already that obviously are like helping I try not to use loads of like single-use plastics and stuff but everyone has room to improve so I feel like this challenge will probably be good for me because I will be able to see where I need to improve because I'm like forced to not use anything that is waste. And when I say like zero waste, I don't even mean things that can be recycled. I'm only gonna be using things that are reusable, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna be even like doing any like paper bags or anything like that. At least I'm gonna try not to. This is like the point of the challenge to see if it's even possible to not even use things that could be recycled because just because it can be recycled it, and you put it in a recycling bin doesn't mean that it's actually recycled quite a lot of the time. I don't know what the percentage is. I should probably look it up. So I can't find a specific statistic, but I've been finding out loads of stuff just on that little bit of research that I just did then and I'm going to be doing some more later. But basically, lots of the things that you put in the recycling bin and you think they're getting recycled actually still can't be recycled. For example, cardboard pizza boxes, you think they'd be fine putting in the recycling, of course they can get recycled because they're cardboard. But actually because you've had like pizza in it and it's got all like dirty and greasy, unless you clean it, which I mean you can't really, I don't really know how you're like supposed to get all of the like oil and stuff of the pizza out of the cardboard it can't be recycled so I'm gonna be trying my best today let's get started so Mia Corns and now I'm going to be doing a bit of research because I feel like I need to know how to properly do this so let's get started how to go zero waste 101 easy eco-friendly zero waste tips. Okay, this sounds good for me because I need to know how to properly do this. One, ask for no straw in your drink when you order out. Okay, so I already do this as I actually have a reusable straw that I do use. However, if I do want a drink, I'm obviously going to also have to bring a cup because although cups are recyclable, I still want to create like no waste today, not even recyclable waste. Okay, so I'm gonna have to bear that in mind. I'm gonna have to bring everything with me. Don't leave your house without a full reusable water bottle, okay? Pick up a lonely banana. So basically, I think what this blog post is saying is that when you wanna buy food and fruits and vegetables and stuff, you have to try and find ones without the unnecessary packaging, because unfortunately, a lot of things come with packaging and it's not even necessary. Build a zero waste kit and put in the trunk of your car or carry it with you when you'll be out so you'll always be prepared okay so basically i think what i need to do now is i need to go and get prepared for today so i just did a bit of research and i have now got my reusable kit all planned out or all that i have at the moment but i am going to go out shopping and get the rest so i have this bag which is obviously a reusable bag then I have some containers. I can use these for like anything that I need, but basically I'm going to be going to the shop and I'm gonna be trying to buy some food and I'm gonna see if I can get them in these rather than in plastic bags or plastic containers. I also have this water bottle because I know the blog said about that. And then I have my reusable straw if I want to get a drink. Because I saw on some blog posts they said about using a bamboo toothbrush and I already do that so I thought that's obviously a necessity. Although obviously you do need to change your toothbrush like every month. It's not something that I do on a 24 hour basis. But I want to try and do things that I'd, you know, that you use over a long period of time. Not just things that you use in the short term. And the mum just came in my room and she gave me this 
which I'm also going to be using to take to the shop because these are probably going to be more for things like I'm hoping they have some legumes and stuff that you can get that's not in a packet but um this will be in case there's any veg that I need to put in here. So because I've been doing a bit of research as well, I just found out about this really cool app. Well, it's actually a web browser that I'm going to be using from now on because it just sounds so amazing. Like it's such an ingenious idea. So basically, you know how on like Google, when you search for things, it comes up with ads. Well, basically there's this new web browser called Ecosia and they have ads on their browsing system just like Google except what they do with the profits is that they plant trees with it which is just amazing so apparently with like it averages out about every 45 searches you plant a tree which is just so amazing because like I would be searching on other web browsing searching systems whatever you call them I would um, be doing it anyway so it just feels like such an easy switch just to go onto a different um, web browser it's like so simple and just like amazing I, I don't know how to like this is I'm like so glad that I came across this like this video is like honestly making me come across new things so I'm really happy that I discovered this and you guys should definitely go get it this isn't sponsored or anything I just like came across it and I was just like wow this is amazing and what's amazing about this is lots of companies are like CO2 neutral which is amazing but this um, browsing system isn't just CO2 neutral it's actually CO2 positive which means that basically they're doing they're planting more trees than what they need to to like compensate from all of the like emissions that they're using with their services long story short I came across this really cool web browser that you guys should get as well and you can save trees with every 45 searches you can plant a tree that's just amazing i don't even understand how like i understand how it works but it doesn't make sense to me it's just like what so normally well not all of the time but a lot of the time i do use the stairs anyways because it's good exercise but i just realized this is actually like a really important part of going zero waste as well because it's not just about the things you buy it's also about like trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible so like not going in the car if you could walk taking the stairs rather than the elevator things like that so that is what i'm going to be trying to focus on for the next 24 hours sweets and stuff like this are just going to be a big no-no right there are a lot of fruits and vegetables without packets but this this just is so unnecessary so as you can see they have a lot of legumes and spices and stuff like that in all of these plastic packets but wait a second wait a second they have them in these so instead of using one of these i'm actually going to use one of my own packets but the only thing is these weigh a lot so i would be paying a lot of money for the glass jar which obviously i shouldn't pay for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the lady if she can weigh these so then I can use the self-serve and then they can like deduct that. I'm going to see if it's possible. I saw it like on a website or something. I don't know. I've done a bit of research so hopefully it works. It was an interesting experience. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you what I actually got and then how much waste I made because I did make a little bit unfortunately and why I had to make it okay so I got nuts I had to get these in like two lots because there's cashews and walnuts they were separate so there was two stickers from this which is obviously waste but in like if that was in a plastic tub it's still better than no waste so I've got some beans this is unfortunately some waste but I haven't wasted the packet because I've used a glass jar instead so then i got some quinoa for breakfast unfortunately i really wanted oats because that's what i normally have for my breakfast they didn't have any and i didn't really feel like there wasn't really any like breakfasty grains so this was the best one i could find quinoa i feel like unfortunately normally when i make beans and stuff like hard beans take so so long to cook and like even when you cook them for ages they're just still hard so i normally get canned beans but obviously cans waste so i've had to get the hard stuff and i'm gonna have to cook it myself and then i got some fruit so this obviously came with a sticker they've kind of like fallen off in the bag that's why they don't have the stickers on anymore avocado sticker again lime sticker again 
So I didn't get any plastic things except for this one. So basically what happened was when I asked them about whether they could like weigh them and then deduct the weight of the glass jars from them, they just kind of like said no. I didn't think they really understood what I was saying at first. And then when they finally like did start understanding what I was saying, they were just like, no, that's not possible. So instead what I've done is I got this one plastic packet thing and then I just put all the like I don't know the quinoa for example I put the quinoa in here and then I got it weighed and then I put the sticker on the jar and then put the quinoa back in the jar and then I used the box again for the kidney beans and I just basically did that what I'm gonna do now is because unfortunately I was very silly and um, I didn't bring enough glass jars so I'm going to have to go to the shop again and I'm going to bring this with me and basically I'm going to keep reusing this. I feel like the first part of going zero waste is removing all single use plastics and then you can get into the, you know, like the reusable plastics and stuff like that. Like even this technically, because it is a glass jar, but the lid has plastic on it. So it's just all about doing your best, I guess. So like this is obviously preferable because it's glass and then metal. So it's better than these tubs. But obviously these were things that I already had, so I'm using them instead of buying something new because just buying, it's a bit like complicated. Like what can you do? Like use the things you already have, but they have a bit of plastic on them or get some new ones that don't have any plastic on them, but then you're still gonna be throwing away the plastic anyway. So it's just like, oh, and I almost forgot, of course you have the waste from the receipt and there's not really much you can do about that other than put it in the recycling and hope it gets recycled. No drinks for me. Look at all of this packaging. Like, I'd love to get some berries, but of course there's all the packaging. This even has polystyrene, which is like even worse. Oh, uh, um, okay. So over here they do have some stuff though, and it doesn't have like stickers or anything on them, but obviously you have to get them weighed and then put the sticker on. The only thing is that is massive. These ones look quite good actually, because I love sweet potatoes. They have obviously white potatoes as well, but I have to get sweet. I'm definitely 100% sure that the lady at the till now officially thinks that I'm insane. So I'm now back from the shops for the second time. Okay, so I realized um, I didn't bring enough tubs and I really wanted to get some stuff from the deli since it's already pre-cooked. So it's kind of like getting things from a can almost because I got some olives and I also got some rice. Funny story though, the lady at the till, I think she found it really funny that I got rice and black olives. And then I think just combined with, this, with the fact that I'd been there twice and then I'd also been asking her if I could use like glass jars and stuff. She was just like laughing, not in like a mean way, but she just kind of found the whole situation funny, which I guess is kind of good because you can feel a little bit like you're being a bit awkward, but you just kind of have to be like nice about it, you know, be nice and polite. And then I feel like it's not such a big deal. Also, I realized I forgot sweet potato. This is like my necessity. What did I just say? Necessity. I always have sweet potato for lunch, so I'm now gonna be cooking this. And then I'm also going to be starting the beans because these take so long and I wanna have them for my dinner. Um, and I obviously don't want them to be hard because I'm just like, it's, it, this is a struggle, okay, Miracles? This is a struggle. Oh, and unfortunately, guys, the fact that I went to the shop twice means that it's another receipt that has to go in the recycling. <laughs> So I'm actually really happy with myself since this is a lunch that I have regularly except for one thing I normally have sauce in it um, But obviously no sauce is zero waste at least not that I can see like I've been looking at things And there's certain things I know I'm gonna need later for food And I'm just like I don't know how I can get them zero waste because they always come in like a carton and a packet and stuff So this is the lunch that I made anyways I have got some sweet potato from earlier and the avocado from earlier now obviously the ideal thing would be to um like what would you call it compost the avocado um skin and the seed but since it's like i don't have a garden unfortunately so i can't do a compost bin place thing so unfortunately um, i've just had to put it in the bin but like it does naturally biodegrade anyway so it's still not gonna like stay on the planet for hundreds of years it will just naturally turn into soil again but it would just be better if you compost it so guys i finished up all my lunch i ate it all of course like this is kind of something that i do anyways i always eat up all my food but obviously like a big part of zero waste is obviously eating up all your food but it's been a while now since lunch time i am hungry again and it is now dinner time now my beans have been cooking since lunch time and they were probably like edible i don't know like half an hour ago or something but i've just been 
like cooking them for longer than I feel like they need just because I'm really nervous because basically if beans aren't cooked properly um it really messes your digestive system up I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that because it's disgusting but basically you just really want to make sure that you cook your beans properly and that you drain them properly so I'm now gonna check on them I think they're done because I checked on them a little bit ago okie dokie let's check on these beans that looks good I think when people said that beans expand you saw how many beans I bought this is what they turned into I can't physically eat this especially with all the rice that I bought I'm gonna have to put it in a tub and save it for like tomorrow or another day um, because this is I would be able to force all of this in but with all the other stuff that I want to add to it I'm not gonna be able to eat all of this so I'm gonna have to put it in the fridge and store it for another day because I'm zero ways so Mia Combs, I have discovered a problem that I didn't really think this through, although I guess, actually, yeah, I did. I remember looking in the supermarket, actually. So basically, my original plan was to use these nuts. The reason why I bought these is because it was going to be for my dinner, for a creamy sauce, because I was going to make that. Um, I do have lime juice, but I don't really feel like that's going to be enough to add to these nuts. Like, it needs some liquid and ideally milk. Um, I know this isn't zero waste, but I feel like I kind of have to and like I looked in the supermarket and there wasn't any like Milk which you could put in like a container like there's no like milk pouring things or anything like that No soy milk things. I mean, I don't really know what you do when you like zero waste milk But I guess with soy milk, I guess you just make your own soy milk, but that is a very tricky process So I'm gonna use this since I have it anyways I haven't ever really tried making this, so hopefully it tastes good, but I've seen my mum make it before, so. I don't really know if she added some like spices or something, so let's hope this tastes nice. I am so stupid. Look how much nut sauce I made. I thought that was like a good amount of nuts, but it turns out when it's blended, it turns into more volume. Like the beans, I've got so much here and I don't really think this can like survive overnight in the fridge. I don't really know. I'm just going to try and eat it all. I'm probably going to feel sick because this is just pure walnuts and cashews with a little bit of soy milk and a little bit of lemon juice. So let's tuck in. It does look nice. I just feel like I'm kind of like gutted because I kind of wish I'd got more vegetables like pepper or something like that because I did see they have them but I was just like... I don't need that. I don't need that. I've got plenty. Um, yeah, well, my meals are ending up very, very plain. And the fact that I can't put, like, sauce or anything like that on there, it's just like, ah. Meal corns, I just, I'm so full. I'm literally going to have enough food for the next week with all the beans and now all of this bean and concoction of sauce and everything. Um, so I'm probably not going to be hungry tomorrow, but since I started this challenge midday from lunch, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So I had a slight problem this morning. It's actually quite late in the morning. It's like 10 a.m. or something. But basically what happened was this morning I woke up and I felt terrible i felt like i was about to throw up i felt really weak and then i also had a massive headache which is very unusual for me because i don't really get headaches that often so i'm gonna put it down to traveling but i mean you never know it's kind of a coincidence that i start eating food that's not out of the packet but i don't think that is going to be it because i did wash the vegetables and stuff but you just you never know or it may have been that i ate so much nuts yesterday that i um it really didn't agree with me now i'm feeling a little bit better i still feel a bit gross um but hopefully if i have my breakfast that might make me feel a bit better because i haven't really felt like eating this morning but i'm gonna force myself to um so i'm gonna have the quinoa that i had yesterday and then i don't think i'm gonna cook all of this because although this looks like a good amount it's gonna expand and i really don't want to make the mistakes that i made yesterday because it really <laughs> was not good then i also got this um, is this a peach or an apricot? I think it's a peach, um, which I also bought yesterday. But I realized 
so basically I thought that to make your own like nut milk it was like really complicated and you had to soak the nuts for like a week or something and I was just like yesterday I was like I can't do that but I looked it up and it turns out that yes you can do the version where you soak it and apparently it comes out better or something but you could also do like a really quick version so I am now going to go out to the shop for the third time in this challenge and I'm going to get some cashews and I also got this paper bag um, rather than those really heavy um, glass ones. This was left over from a while ago. I don't know what it was for. Um, but I'm just going to reuse this because zero way. Guys, this is just going so bad. So I had a little go at it and this is how much milk I made. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> So I had no idea what I was doing and mum basically told me that I had to add lots of water in because I only added like two splashes to it because I don't know what I was thinking. I was just assuming that the liquid would come from the cashews but cashews aren't like liquidy there. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I've added more water to it so now I need to strain it. So guys, I have suddenly had another wave of nausea and I feel so sick. Literally, the idea of eating makes me want to throw up. Not because this is like gross or anything just because of how like my illness or something but we're gonna no waste we're gonna eat this up the milk is nice the only thing is while i was cooking it my mom came in and she said oh you're supposed to cook it with water first and then you add the milk after once it's cooked i didn't do that so guys i'm going to try and eat this up it's probably gonna take me a few hours of basically laying down and then coming back and having a mouthful and then laying down and coming back and having another mouthful but this was actually a really fun challenge and i think it was like fun to see like the areas that i can improve on and um yeah i really enjoyed this challenge the only thing is i know that there's some things i tried my best to go zero waste but there were some things that i couldn't really do much about like for example the water here in Dubai, you can only have bottled water because if not, it's really um, like dangerous. I don't really know what it's got in it, but you can't drink it. So you can only have bottled water and obviously that is unfortunate, but there's not really much you can do about that. So guys, if you're new around here, make sure to click subscribe. Also check out this video here and that video there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.